Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hey, this is Jason, a.k.a. Meeks. This is 6-8 Airbrush coming at you guys. Hey, what's happening, man? Hey, I welcome you guys to another video, man. Uh, in this video, guys, we're just it's going to be a rollover practice session uh, from the Thick to Thin video I had previous from this one. Uh, I'll put that at the end of this video so you guys can click on it and watch it if you haven't seen it, okay? It's just a, it's just a session, man, a, a curse obsession, script session, thick to thin session to basically get better at it, okay? So this video is not, uh, I'm not going to teach you how to do scripts. I'm not gonna, you got to learn that on your own, man. You got I feel sorry for you guys that are, have don't know cursive. My cursive sucked growing up. I know how to do cursive but I learned how to draw it a whole lot better. <laughs> I learned how to draw it a whole lot better. So learn how to draw cursive is what I'm saying, okay? If it's on paper with a pencil, do it like that. However you got to do it, okay? I'm not teaching cursive. So these exercises that I got here, man, on top of the ones I showed you earlier where I did the L, I did the, the, lower, the lowercase L, the hoop, lowercase E, and then the infamous M. The M is probably the hardest letter, in my opinion, to do in one flow, all right? Once you start getting the M down, you could pretty much do anything, all right? So now we're gonna jump into all letters, okay? So I'm gonna do an exercise doing cursive, thick to thin. And one thing I wanna give you guys, too, I just wanna show you guys something. This is my practice session right here, man, okay? This is my practice session. And one thing I wanna tell you guys is, don't throw away your throwaways or anything that you mess up on. Keep them because this is good practice. Uh, there's nothing better to work on or practice on than fabric. But what ended up happening with this one, I was I made a design on here and it got stuck in the in the heater and it burned it. <laughs> and it burned it, man. So that is now considered a throwaway and something I owe now. <laughs> All right, so practice on your fabric. That's that's some good stuff here. All right, nothing better than that. Okay, next tip, guys. I've done this in the in the previous videos, and I talked about this before. I have a two ounce big mouth bottle. You're gonna get your 45 minutes to an hour if you fill this up. Straight paint time. Practice for 45 to an hour until the paint is gone. Okay, halfway is gonna be 30 minutes. So it's in increments of one ounce is 30 minutes, two ounces is an hour, 45 minutes an hour, okay? So you want to just get 30 minutes of time in, man, you know to fill it halfway and, and paint till it's done. It don't have to be black, it could be any color you want, all right? All right, so we're just gonna get right into it, man. I'm just gonna do a cursor from an exercise from A to Z. It doesn't gotta be perfect, it's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna even be pretty. But long as I know I'm getting transitioning over to each letter, and getting my thick to thin in, that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters. That should all that matters to you. All right. So in, in this whole session, keep the air on. Try to keep the air on. Okay. That's the best way to, to transition into the next letter. Okay. And what you want to do here, man, is try to make your letters uh, about an inch, about an inch thick or so, and try to make them consistent. Okay, so we're just gonna start. I'm gonna zoom in on here, but go from A to, to Z. It doesn't gotta be pretty, like I said, man. My paint is not flowing very good right now, so it is what it is. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. M, N, O, P, Q, R, F, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so you're just transitioning. My paint's not flowing very good right now. I think there's some trash in it. So just A to Z, do it again. Do it over and over and over again. I'm, I'm trying to get this out to you guys. You know, this is hopefully a quicker video than my other one. H, I, J, K, L, 
M N O P Q R S T U V. Stop blowing, man. V W X Y Z. All right. Do this over and over again, guys. It's gonna help you guys out tremendously. All right. So just make sure your thick and thin's there. It's smooth. It's one inch or so wide. Um, that's what you want. Because when you when you're doing bigger letters like this, and then transferring over to something smaller, this is gonna help you out because you already got this down, the thick to thin when it's big, and then when it goes to a smaller letter, you then you, you it'll still look clean looking. Okay. So the next step to this, guys, is basically now you're just going to start throwing letters out. Okay, so just start throwing letters out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the same. And one thing to do is try not to do a letter more than twice in a row because you, if you get stuck, okay, if I'm doing a B and then I don't know what the next letter is, do another B and then come up with another letter, okay? So try to remember that, and that's just a rule. That's one of, This is something I made up, man, and I work on. And I can I constantly work on this. My, like I said, my stuff ain't great, dude, but I'll, this has helped me out. And as curse of why doing thick to thin, um, it's helped me out tremendously. So you know, I've been working on this for about a year, maybe a little, a little longer than that. And it's got me to this place where I'm at now. All right, so I'm just gonna throw out letters. D, H, E, D, Q, U, C, Z, H, I, J, um, T, Y, T. Just go all the way across the line. M, N, O, R. I don't know what other letters it be. And you're gonna learn real quick what your style of cursive is, okay? If you work on it slow, then do it slow. X, W, Z, okay? Doesn't matter, just it, you're training your mind and program, pr programming your mind to, to come, out, come out with lettering because when you get a name that you gotta drop, you're looking at the whole name because names are spelled different. Jason's spelled different, many different ways. You know, so you gotta remember it's not the way you know how to spell it. Other people have different lettering styles or different letters in their in their names, okay? So that's one thing to keep in mind. You're just training yourself to go to the next letter. All right. That goes from A to Z, and then when you're just mixing up letters, okay? So that's two exercises right there, man, that I work on, that I was working on here. The next exercise is just put names out. So this is, like I said, this is something you just do constantly, man. Constant. This is not just one. I'm just doing it quick right now. And it does, it's not perfect, man. I'm not trying to be perfect, okay? So um, you end up getting better and better. You keep doing it, all right? So now you just want to practice names. And one thing I'm going to get into later in another video is capital letters on the script style, on the cursive side, okay? Um, that letter right there sets off the whole name. If it's a name design or a text or whatever it is, but mo focus on a name, okay? The the letters, the letter, the first letter is always going to set you off, man. So you're going to come up with something different. So this is where you got to watch, look at different lettering styles. Go and Google it, man. Google script, Google cursive lettering, and, and Google capital letters, all right? Because that that first letter is going to set the whole name off. All right, I'm not going to teach that right now, and, and I'm not going to go about that right now. This is mainly on just going through A to Z, lowercase cursive, and thick to thin, making sure you're in transitioning over to from one letter to another. So then that, that video will be uh, another video, okay? So now you just want to think of names, okay? So I'm thinking Samantha right now. That's my wife. All right, so and another thing in this too, man, is like if I did a print style S, okay, is with what I go to here, so it's legible, right? Because a lot of people don't know cursive. They don't know, this is my, 
That's my curse up ass, capital S, okay? So that's another thing we'll get into on, on capital letters. So I'm just going to bridge off this, Samantha. See how it goes in one flow? And what I like about Samantha's name is it does have S's. S gets you get your, you get your loops in there, and it has an M and an N in there, and an H. All three of those got that little hoop, right? So that's a good practice. We That's what we practice on. M is the hardest letter, man. That's the hardest letter to do. You get that letter, you can do anything. All right, so just start spitting out names. So Jason, oh, we'll go Jack. Jackson. Okay, see that? I did like a, a print style J, but my curse of J would be like this. That's my curse of J. So I did Jackson. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. They don't know that. So you just want to keep throwing names out. After you do that exercise there over and over, the more you practice different names, the better you're going to be, the more faster you're going to be, all right? So I'm thinking, um, I don't know, Blake. Blake. Uh, Amber. All right, it's got to be legible, man. That's where you want to get is legible. All right, Crystal. I don't know, Crystal. All right. Uh, try to go on, on different letters, different different letters that that are harder for you. My K's is is something I struggled on, so I'm trying to dial those in. Another good name, Kimberly. Um, this anything constant. Constant, whatever. Uh, Jennifer, get your F's in there. Dan, oh, see, I already spelled it wrong. So Jeff, <laughs> uh, see that? It's another good name. It's got two N's in it, and it's got F, an F. F is another one. It's hard. Hard. Uh, capital. A uh, capital F is definitely one of my struggles. I don't do capital F's like a cursive F because it it doesn't look legible. It looks like a T or uh, so. You got to make sure your name style when you're doing cursive, man. It's legible. They got to understand what the name looks like, what it is, right? You got to understand that. All right. So there it is, man. That's that's about. It. I'm gonna try to keep. I'm keeping this short. So those are three exercises that you guys could do, A through Z, then mix it up on your letter, on your lowercase letters, and then just start throwing names out. We'll get into the, the capital letters in another video. So that, that about does it, man. I'm telling you guys, man, you put that hour, 30 minutes, an hour, fill up your bottle and get that time in. You're going to surprise yourself on how better you're getting because now you're going to start creating your own style. Because when you get that thick to thin done, man, when you get that thick to thin, and I always go back to the M's, see how I do it slow. When you do it slow, it's, it's no tomorrow, man. It's just, it's so much better, right? Then, then you can start feeding it up. And then start flowing, you know what I'm saying? Um, do Martinez real quick. Simple as that, guys. Got take. Got to put the work in. You got to put the work in. Get out there, put the work in. Get your lettering down, man. You know what I mean? Because that's what it's all about. If you got to go back in there and fill stuff in and thicken stuff up, it's all good. But if you could get into one flow, you just mastered script. You just mastered it. If you could get into one flow, all right. 
So that's about it, guys. You guys got any questions, man? Please comment down below. Let's start this new year. This is the beginning of 2024. This is my first video going to be coming out. So let's get it going. Let's rock this year, guys. And this is how I'll continue to progress in this airbrushing world, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got any questions, any comments, man, put them down below. Please subscribe to my videos, guys. That's um, If you like these videos, man, that's much love right there, guys. Let's push. I want to push more on airbrushing, guys. And let's, let's get it out to more people, man, because it's almost like a dying art. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> I'm not going to let that happen. And we're just going to keep pushing. All right, guys? So hopefully you guys got something out of this. Go to work. All right, guys? My name is Jason, a.k.a. Meeks. This is Sick Made Air Brushing. Peace out, guys.